Now that we have the illumination settings and exposure settings done for each of our four channels, we're going to be able to add some additional dimensions to our experiment. Beginning with a Z stack, we can select a Z stack within our acquisition modes part of our acquisition tab. The new dialog appears beneath where we can define a beginning and an endpoint of the volume that we'd like to capture in Z. So with a channel selected that best visualizes where within the sample I'd like to image, I can simply press live, utilize the microscope Z focus control to go slightly, slightly out of focus on one side here. I'm going to click begin. I want to be just slightly out of focus because I'm going to run deconvolution on this, which will reassign that out of focus light to the right place. As I zoom now through my sample, I'm using the microscope focus to find the other end where I want to go just out of focus again and set that point as the end of the volume. Now I'm going to hit stop. So with our system optimized feature, the software will automatically calculate the number of steps and the size of each of those steps to reflect the best choices for the objective. So in this case, it takes into account the Z resolution of the objective, which the system knows, and uses that to assure that we are sampling at an appropriate rate in the Z dimension. You can control which direction the acquisition happens. I always prefer, especially with these nice thick slices like this, I prefer to image from the furthest point away from the objective towards me so that I get the highest number of photons as possible from the farthest or deepest part of the sample. With all of that set, if all you needed was to acquire this four-channel Z-Stack, you can simply press start and the acquisition will begin.